Dave, I'm going to start with you because I was quite overwhelmed by how much hard work would have gone into this. Because obviously you've got the lead role here. So you've got to be in ev almost every scene, which has got the real kind of like the emotional kind of sort of in the sort of term turmoil. There's a real complexity to the role. Then there's the kind of physical aspect because you've got to deal with the kind of choreography. But then you're the director. So you've got to be in charge of every department. And it's very much your set. And then you've established a kind of visual language yeah. here and a kind of- I'm I getting feel... PTSD yeah. right now, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm getting, are you getting stressed? It's a very I just triggering. got a bit sweaty, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you must have been exhaustive when it was all over, but also how does it feel now it's kind of done and it's kind of out there? Man, there's a quote in the film from an, like a piece of Indian philosophy, the pain will leave you once it's finished teaching you. I'm still in pain, so I think <laughs> I've got a lot to learn still. <laughs> yeah, but no, it was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was a tremendous kind of undertaking. It's, it was very humbling and nourishing at the same time. And you know, the, I mean, you've had this way. I mean, this is my first rodeo, but like the, you know, when you watch something back that you, that you've directed, the sh the sheer amount of gratitude that fills your heart to all of all of the souls that took part in that mm -hmm. vision, like mm -hmm. everyone that held a pole, to moved a chair, to painted a face, to like, I look at that and I just like, I get overwhelmed yeah. with that feeling. Yeah, ab absolutely. And the, this everybody in this one. Uh, you can tell just by yeah. by seeing everyone went th went through, you know the, the had to be a driven with you know pure passion from this yeah, guy, and and but to you know I don't what you're saying is true the the feat I think that Dev pulled off with this film is a very rare one and um, I've never seen you know yes I, I I put everything into my films I've never seen a, a director put his heart and soul and energy into a film like this. I, I mean, there's such a distinctive, I just said there's a cinematic kind of language to this. And Jordan, I, I feel like I've seen a Dev Patel film already, just right off the bat. But Jordan, you had that with sort of Get Out as well. Is that something, to have that kind of unique, sort of distinctive identity instantly? Because some filmmakers can take, can take years, they might never achieve that. Is that something that comes quite naturally? Is it quite organic to you both? Or is it something you have to kind of consciously work towards? You know, it's it's it. it I, I think that we are us, and at some point we are both artists who realized that we were um, we we could feel empowered to trust um, what our, ourselves and our voice, and that's really the the you know the big thing. I think um, you know uh, we we're fortunate enough to be in the acting space and get reps in production and sort of see this these things go around, work with amazing people. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's always we're it's we're always trying to be our best uh, version uh, uh, of ourselves. And Dev, I was going to interest to know because you obviously sort of play a nameless man here. You don't have to tell me what his name is, but did you give him a name and an identity in that regard, or did, was he also nameless from from you? You know, it was weird. Yeah. The, the 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 amazing actress Aditi, who played my mother, we had this scene where we're like burning down this village one night, and it was crazy. Everything was on fire, and we, we we could only burn down this one hut. Couldn't afford to do another one, and it's crumbling as we speak. So it's chaos. And I was like, you need to run out and, and start screaming for your son. And I'd forgotten that I hadn't even given her a name. So I'm like, action! And this hut's like crumbling behind her, and we're losing time. And she, we, in talking, my mother calls me devil, like devil, you know, like, and so she was screaming that and all of a sudden, like there was this pang in my heart when she screamed it. Um, so he's nameless, but I did the, the character that played the mother kind wow. of um, screamed what my mother calls me and it's, it's in there, it's in the cut. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Because the mother inspires her son with obviously with stories of like mythology and stuff. I mean, in many ways, you two as filmmakers, uh, that's what you're kind of doing now, isn't it? Is that, do you think that's still what drives you both as, as, as filmmakers? It's just that ability just to, to tell stories and to share ideas with kind of with audiences. I mean, I've just done it once. You have, not only as a director, but with Key and Peele, like the amount of like micro stories that you've told with that show. Well, I you mean, know, I, I love work that feels kind of a little dangerous, feels like something you're not supposed to do, feels like uh, something that um, is too risky, yeah. that, uh, that no one sh wants to invest in. And it is, it's ultimately, I think, Monkey Man and, and, and my movies as well are, are underdog stories in the production of mm -hmm. them and, and in, in every sense of the way, but, um, but also, you know, in this in this case, a serious Robin Hood 
of all underdogs. Hmm. It's funny you mentioned Kian Peel. That Andre 3000 sketch is one of my favorite <laughs> sketches of all time. Oh, thank you. Yeah. But anyway, I think that's all I've got time for, unfortunately. But thank you so much, guys. Appreciate right. it. Thank you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey you guys. <laughs> hey you guys. Hey, 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 that's what they all say. Hey you guys. Hey you guys.